Welcome to Ready Set RC. This is one of the manufacturers I've been looking at for quite some time, FTX. I'm gonna do monologue for a little bit, guys, so that you guys know where I'm coming at with getting this model. The FTX DR8 comes in three different forms. There's the FTX DR8, which you're seeing in front of you today. There's a really Raptor, uh, and then there's the FSR Atom. I saw this at Euro RC on a tremendous deal. I think all in, it came out to like $478 US. That includes shipping, and I had to get it, guys. I've been looking at it for some time, and the shipping cost is what's really put me over the top with getting this before. It's like if you get the RC, most times I was seeing the shipping cost and the RC, everything all in, it was going to be close to $700 for it. But to find it for this price, I said I had to get this. So what are we looking at? This is a 1-8 scale four-wheel drive desert buggy. It has independent suspension all around. There's no solid axles on the front or the rear of this car. And we'll go through it. What comes in the box is very basic. You get the FS GT2G. If you guys have had the Red Cats and some other RCs out there, over the years, that's kind of what this is. It's the same controller. You've seen this before. It comes with your steering reverse, your throttle reverse, bind button, steering trim, throttle trim, and steering dual rate on off switch down here. It's a two channel controller. Batteries go on down below. You got a rubberized steering wheel on there. It'll do the job, guys. I have never had a problem with these controllers. I've been using them for quite some time, really on my Red Cats and they're good guys, they're a very good controller when it comes to distance and everything else and responsiveness. And then you get the owner's manual along with a bind plug and if you are looking to replace your battery leads, because this thing comes with XT90s, which is perfect for me, but if you're looking to change your battery leads on there, it comes with XT90 connectors. And then that's it guys, that's all you get in the box. So the cage system that you're seeing, it's attached with four pins. You take off those four pins, it's got some good weight, guys. Then there's LED leads on here too. So this cage comes with LEDs in the rear and in the, and in the front. And a spare tire on the rear. Has some good weight. I gotta see what that's gonna feel like on the first run, but it feels like it has some good weight on there. And I don't know how that's going to affect the vehicle taking it out on its first run. Showing you guys just a little bit more of the cage system underneath. Panels feel really good. They're painted up with some silver backing. And then you have a Lexan piece with the drivers in the center. The tubing feels pretty good and we got some scale bits hanging off of the rear here. It looks good, it really looks good, guys. Not a cheaped out model if I gotta say so. It, it feels really good. Taking a look at the chassis and all the parts on it, I love all the blue anodized bits that I'm seeing on here. You have blue anodized for the wheel nuts, you have blue anodized on the shocks, the shock caps, chassis, uh, the steering chassis plate, that's also blue anodized, blue anodized, blue anodized servo horn, blue anodized motor mount. It looks good, it makes it really pop on here. But let's go through this RC. We have a nice supported front bumper. There's bracing going back to the bulkhead. Feels really good in the hands. Got some nice big bore shocks. They have a upper shock protector on them. They're oil filled, screw down, and it looks like there's some rubberized protecting for the shock shafts. On the front we have CVD style drive shafts, pillow ball suspension, composite arms upper and lower. On the shock positions we have two adjustable shock positions down low, and uppers we have three adjustable shock positions up top. Pretty beefy shock tower, I don't know if that's four mil or possibly five mil. Then we have a composite body mount 
sitting behind that. We have an anodized aluminum steering plate sitting off the rear, also with an aluminum Ackerman bar coming off of that. Camber and toe are adjustable in the front. We have a nice servo saver, a composite chassis brace in the front and also in the rear. Very large battery tray and there is a foam space in there. So if you remove that, you could probably get a little bit longer battery packs in there. We have a three millimeter chassis, a nice anodized aluminum motor mount, metal spur gear and pinion. As we go to the rear, beefy shock tower on here. As I said, I don't know if that's four mil or five mil on the sizing of that shock tower. Shock protectors also at the top. Looks like we have longer shocks in the rear, but it's the same deal with the metal shock caps and the adjust screw down adjustable shocks, oil filled with the shock shaft being covered by a rubber, rubberized protector on the shock shafts. Uh, two mounts down below for the shocks, three adjustable mounts on the upper part of the shocks. Positive body posts in the rear too. And we're looking at dog bone drive shafts in the rear, sway bars in the front and also in the rear of this car. And we have camber only adjustment in the rear. As for electronics, we're looking at a 15 kilogram servo, a Hobby Wing 150 amp brushless ESC with XT90 leads coming off of that. And for the motor, we're looking at a 2000 kV four pole brushless motor. That should be a lot of power putting down to this RC. As for the tires, they feel pretty firm. Gonna see how these perform on the surfaces that I like to run and um, report back to you guys. Car dimensions on this desert buggy. The overall length is 540 millimeters. Wheelbase is 360 millimeters. Overall width is 340 millimeters and the overall height is 220 millimeters. If you guys are wondering on the size of this, this is not the size of a typical 1-8 scale buggy. Take it your Typhon, your Radix 6, your low C8, this is not the same size. This is coming in more towards, and if you guys don't remember these two RCs, go check them out. There was a Team Associated SC8, which I still do own. And then there was the HPI Apache Short Course. Those were a little bit larger eight scale short course trucks. And that's what this wheelbase is like. Another one that I could mention too, is if you had the Team Associated Nomad DB8, it also had this wheelbase. It's a little bit longer than your typical 1.8 scale buggies. So you're gonna see it a little bit improvement in stability on this. So I'm lo really looking forward to that because that Nomad DB8 was one of the cars that I definitely was looking at and now it's no longer available from Team Associated. Gotta say, one of the things I don't like is how the wires for the servo and ESC and even for the receiver or come into the receiver box. I'm gonna see how that manages. Try to tuck them up as best as possible. Not a fan of how the wires are going right by the spur gear and pinion. I ordered the front and rear aluminum suspension mounts for this. I saw tons of videos and it looks like that's one of the weak points on here. I know there are some other things that people have chimed in and said on the car. I'm gonna experience those kind of changes as I go through the RC. So thanks for the tips guys, but I'm gonna to try to experience this on my own. I ordered those up, I'm waiting on those to come in. But for you guys, it'll be seconds. For me, it's weeks. Stay tuned next for the run of the DR8.